Looking for an educational and unique way to spend the day with the kids? Well, consider a trip to the National Law Enforcement Museum in Washington, D.C. CEO Marsha Ferranto is here to tell us all about it. Welcome. Well, thank you. Thank I'm, you for having I'm me. I'm happy to have you here because honestly, I'll tell you, I didn't know about the National Law Enforcement Museum and I have been missing out because it really is a unique experience. Tell us a little bit more about it. So it is. Uh, the museum just opened a year ago this past October mm -hmm. and it is one of the most interactive museum experiences that anyone can have in Washington, D.C. So uh, describe to me what happens when you go there. So it's it's walking in the footsteps of law enforcement. Okay. Um, and when you get there, uh, you can experience not only science and math and technology, but you'll also experience what it is to solve a crime. Oh. Uh, you will experience uh, a 9-11 emergency uh, operation system. Okay. As well as experiencing how to look at evidence from fibers to uh, fingerprints mm -hmm. to hair follicles. Wow. So basically and everything we're seeing on TV, but we can experience it in, in real life. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. And so you're encouraging visitors to bring their kids down. Why is that? First, um, one of the things that we offer as a unique experience in Washington is the ability to bring your children under the age of 12 free. That's amazing. So we open it yeah. and encourage families uh, to, to attend. To I mean, visit. especially nowadays, I mean, you're looking for fun things to do with your, with your kids that don't break the bank and it, it gets hard, That's but right. it's really an interactive experience. So the kids are gonna love that and the parents are gonna love that price. And, and it's really for kids of all ages. Okay, great. So Good. I encourage Including everyone. ourselves. That's absolutely <laughs> correct. What's your favorite part of the museum experience there? I think my most favorite part is watching people understand the difference between law enforcement on television mm. and law enforcement in real life. Well, see, I just made that mistake. So clarify, what, what is it that we're seeing in real life at the museum that, that differs and, and sort of opens people's eyes a little bit more? One of the things you're able to experience is a live interrogation. Mm. So what really happens in real life during interrogations? Right. And what happens in real life when we are wiretapping and doing surveillance? And that is much different than what you're going to see on TV. Yes, because on TV it gets a little intense and you know, they're slamming cups of coffee on the table. You're not gonna see that there. That's correct. <laughs> How did this museum come about? I mean, it, it opened, you said, a year ago. So we have created a law enforcement campus down on Judiciary Square in Washington, D.C. On one side of the campus, which started the whole idea, the whole concept, is actually the memorial uh -huh. where we honor uh, fallen officers uh, around the country. Currently, we have 21,910 names on our oh wall. Wow. And from that, the idea was born that not only should we honor the fallen and make sure they're always remembered, but how do we help the, the nation understand how law enforcement and communities are coming together? And so we do that on the other side of the campus at the museum. And do that with the education. And so how, how does it make you feel when you see these families come in and they're, they're getting that education and sort of that mission is lived up to? So uh, I start my morning every morning walking through the memorial. And that really puts your, uh, your mind in the right place. Mm -hmm. And as I cross the campus into the museum, that's what brings us to today. That's what brings us into a meaningful day of bringing visitors into the museum, experiencing law enforcement, understanding what these men and women around the country are doing to keep us safe. Mm -hmm. And it is probably the most rewarding experience as a leader for a museum in Washington. I think in, in this climate that is really important to understand what law enforcement does and, and how to do it properly. And so we're seeing that in, in DC at this museum, which is really, really amazing. So we appreciate you being here. How can viewers get more information about the Law Enforcement Museum? Well, I encourage them to go to our website. Okay. Uh, they can also uh, call the museum and get information um, from a live person who will there you go. actually answer the phone. <laughs> you mean I don't have to answer what press 18 buttons to get somebody? That's great. That's right. So just a reminder, you can bring your children to the National Law Enforcement Museum for free if they are under 12, which is great. Thank you so much for being here, Marsha. I really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.